Now if you're a PowerPoint user and you'd like to know how to add a timer to your slides like this, or like this, then this video is for you. There are lots of different ways you can add timers to slides in PowerPoint. You can add them by using shapes and animations. Uh, you can insert a YouTube video and there are actually some add-ins you can use as well. In this video I'm going to focus firstly on shapes and animations because that's a reasonably simple way to add a timer. So in this timer there's simply a bar that slides across the screen going from right to left while the question um, is presented to the students and then an answer will pop up at the end. So to do that I'm going to start off just with a slide that has my question on it and I'm going to go into the insert shapes and I'm going to draw a rectangle that basically just takes up most of the width of the screen like so. Um, let's just choose a colour, so shape fill, let's make that red. And what we're then going to do is an animation to that object. So I'm going to click on the, on the animations tab just up here, click on my object and I'm going to choose from the different animations and exit animation which is going to be fly out. Now I don't want it to go off the bottom screen, I want it to go towards the left so where it says effect options here I'm going to change that and make it go to the left, it's going to do that which is quite nice and then I want a duration. So the duration here is how many seconds it takes, so it's half a second at the moment so if you wanted that to be a, um, a 30 second countdown timer or a 10 second countdown timer you put the time in here. So if I make that 10 that's now going to be a 10 second animation. So if I run my show now, that time is going to take 10 seconds to disappear off the side of the screen. To make the answer um, highlighted, if you want to have that step as well, I went to um, the shapes again. So insert a shape and insert a round rectangle over the correct answer which I filled with no fill and I made it uh, red and you can change the thickness there if you want to like so and then I had the animation again back to the animations where I made it appear and then I went to appear not on click I made it to appear after the previous with a delay of, of one second like so so now if I run my show again slideshow from the current slide click I get my 10 second countdown and then one second later the answer is highlighted. Here's another method, I'm going to have um, a countdown on the side of the screen as the numbers disappear so I'm going to click on my insert the shape, I'm going to pick a shape, hold down the shift so I get a square like so, um, put a number in there, 5 then I'm going to copy that and paste it several times like so, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Obviously you can play with the colours, let's fill these in, let's go with that one, that one and that is going to be uh, and that one is going to be green and that one is going to be purple and that one is going to be red like so. So I've got my times there, I'm going to go to the first one here, go to the animations pane and we're going to make that disappear. I'm going to click on that one there, click on animation painter So these are all going to be disappear. That's the same for all of them. So if you look at the order here, play all, they'll go really fast. So I want it to be slightly timed. So if I look at the settings here, that's going to go on the click. So when I click it, that's going to start, automatically go. Then I want the others to have a delay of one second from each one. So that one's going to be start after previous with a one second delay. Then number three is going to be after previous with a one second delay and so on. If 
I run it now, click to start the timer. There we go. Now if you wanted to, you could stack these squares. So that's the front, I'll put it over the top of that one. Let's send that to the front and put it over the top of that one. Let's send that to the front and put it over the top of that one. Let's send that to the front and the top. And let's send that to the front and the top. And we could neaten those up very slightly with the arrow keys, but again, that will then work if I run that as a slideshow from the current slide and click five, four, three, two, one. Another way you can add a timer if you want to look a little bit different is to add a wipe animation to a circle. So if I insert a shape here, I'm going to insert um, a circle. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and draw out a circle like so. I'm going to make it uh, a red fill like so. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to go to animations and we're going to choose wheel exit. So this one here, wheel exit which is going to do that and like before we can set the duration so it's currently set to be a two second duration you set that time up here for how long you want the timer to be so if you want a five second countdown we can set that to be five and if I run my show and click it'll take five seconds to wipe around and what you could then do if you wanted to would be go into the icons and I'm going to insert a timer icon, insert that and I can put that, hold down shift, we can kind of resize that so it matches us, matches the shape like that. I'm going to actually convert to a shape so I can delete that bit of it. And again, if I then run the slideshow, it looks like a stop clock, which is quite nice. And in the animation tab, if you want to change the length of that, if you want it to be a 30 second timer, then just type in 30 in that box there. If you want it to be 10 second, type in 10 and so on. And again, you could stack those on top of each other as well if you wanted to. So I'm going to insert a circle. So let's go insert shape circle. I'm going to draw a circle like so. Like before, we can play around with the colours. So let's just choose the colours for a minute. And that's going to be five, four, three, two, one. And then the animation is going to be like before. I'm going to have an animation. Animation is going to be a wheel, like so. Duration of one second. Click on this one and do animation painter, paint it onto there. I don't want that to be on click, I want that to be after previous. The same thing if I paint that animation down now and again on that one, again on that one. If I do this right, I now stack these on top of each other like so. When I run the animation, I can go slideshow from current slide and click. Five, three, two, one. Now the other way you can get timers in if you want to is to have a YouTube video, which you can find, there are, there are hundreds of these on YouTube, and you insert the YouTube into your slide, and then you can have it as a countdown, you know, five minute countdown for a Zoom session to begin, or you want to have like a 15 or 20 minute coffee break, there's timers for all different lengths you can choose. So to do that, simply go into YouTube, type the length of time you want. So I want a five minute timer. Let's find the timer. There we go, that's what I had just now. Click on there. There's my timer. I'm gonna to go to share, copy that address there. So I've got a new slide. I'm gonna insert it to this slide. I'm gonna go insert. I'm gonna go over here to video. I'm going to go to insert video from online video. You paste in the URL into there. There's the timer and just hit insert. And it'll put that timer onto your slide like so. You can resize it, you can add text around it, etc. 
As a final thing, there are add-ins you can get for PowerPoint as well, which will provide you with timers. So if I went to File and Get Add-ins up here, you can search different add-ins, one of which is something called Break Time. And you can add that to your PowerPoint. Click Continue. And it'll give you a nice timer for your screen, which you can customize. And you can start and stop and so on. So you can set up and then have that ready to go. If you hit start, it'll start the countdown for you and be a proper actual countdown clock timer. So that's quite nice as well if you want to set a set time for a break period. So there are lots of different ways you can do timers in PowerPoint. Some really simple, like the bar going across the screen. Some need a little bit more planning, like the countdown blocks on top of each other. But they're still really straightforward and they just use simple animations. Um, and if that's too complicated, throw a YouTube timer in and use that instead. Hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for your time. I'll be back with some more videos soon. Cheers. Goodbye.